Wasting your time and mine, Detective. I haven't done a damn thing. Spare me the attitude, Dr. Ramsey. Your notepad was used to write a death threat to Lark Madison, and your stethoscope was used to strangle Grace Sullivan. Yeah, well, until I get a plush corner office, I'm forced to leave my belongings in public places. Anyone and everyone had access to that notepad and my stethoscope. Oh, well, then maybe I should start by questioning anybody but you, right? That's exactly what you should do if you want to find the real killer. Uh, come on, somebody is setting me up. It couldn't be more obvious if they sent you a framed picture of me signed the general homicide killer. If you don't like playing 20 questions, Doc, then I suggest you start picking up after yourself. If I didn't want to see Serena so badly, I would not set foot in this death trap. Victor, why do you have to become such a jackass every time you come to this hospital? Funny you should ask. I've been compiling a list. Number one, on your way to the bathroom, you may witness a murder. Number two, your friendly lab technician will likely spill a great deal of your blood all over you. And number three, one of us can never seem to remember where we're all supposed to meet. Well, how about number four? It's very creepy that... Little Evie Lambert has to work here. Lucy, you have no proof that Eve Lambert is the killer. And neither do the police, despite all your best efforts. Why would Eve kill Dr. Marshall? Maybe she really wouldn't. But what if she really was the one that wanted to hurt me with that shrink dress? What if that was her plan and Jake found out about it? Lucy, Eve Lambert is my friend. Whoever's doing this is trying to get at me. Therefore, a friend wouldn't do that. Understand? I, no, not really. I think, I think maybe it's possibly a diversionary tactic. You know, buddy up to you and maybe throw the blame to somebody else. Hmm? That's a very interesting theory. Thank you. Hmm. Right. I'm going to go see Gail while Victor sees his physician and we'll all meet in Serena's room. Serena's, Serena's room. room. Hello. Have you seen, um, doctor, and I use the term loosely, Eve Lambert? Uh, Eve. I, uh, owe you an apology. No. No, you don't. No, I, I do. I came down on you pretty strong there when you were giving me the eye surgeon's number, and I... I'm sorry. I'm sorry, too. Sorrier than you know. going on here. All right, just put your eyes back in your head here, all right? I was just thanking Eve for giving me a, you know, for a doctor, an eye surgeon. Well, that is the least she can do, considering it's Eve's fault that Serena needs one. <sighs> I'm, I'm not up for another beating right now, so if you'll excuse me, I have patience to see. Pal, I hope what I just witnessed was not what I think I was witnessing. Some tender, forgiving moment between the two of you. Is that it? No, Lucy, just, just don't jump to conclusions here. I, Eve, I thought, was the start of something. I haven't had feelings for anybody since Dominique passed away, and so now it's all one big mess. All right, I will acknowledge you probably do miss Eve. But, Pal, I really, I really think this is all for the best. Well, I don't need to hear that from you, all right? Um, Eve, uh, didn't mean to hurt Serena. Well, yeah, maybe not. Well, let me just, she didn't, she didn't mean to, Lucy. But she did. She did, and I can't ever forget that. All right, so, as I've told you many times, I could take care of myself. Yeah, right. I bet that's what Jake thought, too. What's he got to do with it? Well, the autopsy apparently came back, and he didn't die from that noose. He died from a blow to the back of the head, so he was murdered. Oh. Now, I'm not saying, you know, that Eve did it or anything. I'm just saying that we don't know enough about her. We, we really don't know what she'll do next, so this is for the best. Yeah, well, come on, Eve's not capable of murder. <sighs> Maybe not, but she did almost kill your daughter. Dr. Janowski to radiology. Dr. David Janowski to radiology. Forgot the anti-inflammatory. <clears throat> Let go! Victor! <laughs> what a pleasant surprise! The prettiest nurse in the whole hospital. Well, thank you, kind sir. Oh, I presume you're here to see Miss Serena. Yes, I am. Where is she? She's at story time, but she'll be back soon. Oh, good. Can you look at these for me? Now, 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 it's been a long time since I shopped for children. Could either of these remotely be called cool? <laughs> 
Oh, they are adorable. We're, we've also got these. Oh, my. Well, is that all? No, I've got these, but yes. my hands are full. Oh, you do? Oh, gosh. Well, they're the cutest things I've ever seen. Now, I, uh, I think they are a little too much to give her all at once, though. Certainly not. There's no such thing as spoiling children. Oh, well, I have an idea. Why don't you give her these two cute ones and then uh, give the rest of them to some of the kids in the ward who don't have any? That thought is as kind and considerate as the lovely nurse who suggested it. I, I, I want you to have this. Oh. Well, now, he's as sweet a fellow as the man who gave him to me. Mr. McHenry, thanks for coming down so late. Car that expensive, we service day and night. I'm um, uh, sorry you don't want to keep it. Oh, it's not that. It's, I, uh, can't afford the payments. Jumped the gun a bit, did you? It's a hot car. Uh, it's out on the first level of the parking garage, right near the entrance. You can't miss it. Maybe next year. Maybe. Dr. Ghetto, 8099. You know, I, I, I can't tell really who's more pathetic. Me for losing Scott or you for blowing the quarter main. Oh, that would have to be me. See, it's my fault that I lost the quarter main. But you didn't mean to hurt Scott's daughter. Yeah. But I lost him anyway. Well, I'm moving up on the Fort Charles Police Department's list of murder suspects. Is your name above or below mine? Mm, from Garcia's uh, belligerent attitude, I would have to say above. Okay. You win. You are more pathetic. What's my prize? A new notepad. Did you write that death threat? No, I didn't. The most I've ever said to Lark Madison was take this to the lab. Well, Matt seems to think that it wasn't intended for Lark. He thinks that it was really intended for him and that person just put it in the wrong backpack. Yeah, well, if it was a mistake, it wasn't mine. Yeah. I can't imagine why Matt would think that it was you. You know, you'd never stoop to kneecapping your enemies. That's right. I can do much better than a poison pen letter in a backpack. Dr. Lambert. Yes. I've been looking all over for you. Oh, um, is something wrong? In private, please. I have terrific news for you. Oh, good. Well, I could use some good news for a change. The board has awarded you the Quartermain residency. Congratulations. You're you kidding. No, I am not. Your <gasps> dedication to your patients and your hard work are exemplary. You deserve it. Oh, my gosh! Oh, my gosh! Oh, thank you, Dr. May. Thank you. Oh, my gosh. Nothing like this has ever happened to me before. Oh, thank you. <gasps> thank you. Oh! I won the quarter main! Oh, my gosh! Oh, 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 my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Well, I guess if it had to go to someone, it might as well be my roommate. Congratulations. You're a sport. Well, at least this way I still have access to the funds. And it's always more fun spending other people's money. Try it, and your arm gets amputated at the elbow. <laughs> Come on. Buy me a martini across the street. You owe me. Uh, well, okay. I guess I could donate one martini to the most pathetic fund. Okay. Besides, I, I could use the celebration. Okay, I need to make a phone call real quick, so wait here and don't get mugged. I just heard the word celebration. What's the occasion? I won the quarter main. You did? Yeah. What happened to Chris? Oh, they yanked it from him for bad behavior. <laughs> so now it's mine. <laughs> well, congratulations, Eve. You deserve the recognition. Thanks. Kevin, I want you to know how much your support has meant to me. Oh. No, I feel really, really lucky to have you as my friend. Mm. Oh. Gee, this must be some sort of world record. First you're working Scott, now you're trying to work Kevin. Is she paranoid or just insecure? <sighs> I'm not going to grace that with a comment. Lucy, I was just congratulating Eve on her winning the quarter mate. Oh. No. Yes. Even in a work? Oh. Uh. Hi, Serena. My goodness, you have great ears. Grandma says I have ears like a bat. What did you win? I won the Quartermain residency. Is that good? Oh, that's great. Then we should throw you a party. Right, Daddy? 
Well, why don't we wait until you get out of the hospital first? Yeah, you know what? The first party we're going to be throwing anybody is for you when you are all better. Here you go. All set. Let's get out of here. Yes. Okay. Um, bye, girlfriend. I'll see you later, okay? Bye. Have fun. Thanks. Excuse us.